got the ultimate guide to make your Aceto Corsa VR experience with the Reaver G2 smooth without anti-aliasing. I mean, without aliasing. Sorry, not anti-aliasing. This is going to be lots of anti-aliasing here. Okay, so number one, if you have a G2, you absolutely need to go in here and turn this on. If you do not do that, you are seriously limiting the abilities of your headset. Turn off motion smoothing. It's annoying. If you can stand that, then you're not enjoying good VR. But whatever. Just my opinion. Okay? Really important to get this off and this on. That's all I have for the VR stuff. So I'm going to close this down. That's Windows Mixed Reality for Steam VR. It's, an, it's a third-party app. If you don't have it, obviously get it. All right. The next step. You want to go into all settings, mixed reality, headset display, and you want to set adjust detail. This is just, this is only in the mixed reality home. So turn it down to low. You'll barely notice it. I'm telling you. Also change the resolution of the window. Um, Optimize for performance. This will get rid of your ability to record with the terrible Windows Mixed Reality video recording, which is fine. Makes a huge difference. Keep this as high as it can be. 90. Whatever else is your preference. Done here. Now, for the Assetto Corsa settings, I cannot believe it took me this long. Okay, so here we go. All right, so the next step is the Assetto Corsa settings. So first you come into settings. You gotta make sure you have custom shaders patch. You have to have preview. Um, you have to have content manager. You have to have custom shaders patch above preview 1.78 or I think 1.76, 0 0.1.76. I have 0 0.1.8 preview version one. Everything works fine here. So we're in uh, settings. Go to a set of Corsa first. Um, MSA set to four times. I know that's gonna you're gonna be like this is I've done this before. Just follow with me. Stick with me. Things I have to admit are mostly for the Reverb G2. I have a Quest 2, and I don't have these problems. Okay, so all these settings you see here, MSAA four times, anastropic filtering off. Then you go into your NVIDIA settings. This is just for anastropic filtering. Select the program. If it's not in here, in here, add it. Image scaling, turn that on so that you can do VSR or VRS. And anastropic filtering, that's where you turn your anastropic filtering up because this does it a lot more efficiently. I put it at eight and I noticed no blurriness down the road. Anti-aliasing mode, application controlled, I leave it at that. Low latency mode seems to make, give me lots of smoothness in uh, VR, lots of a few vr games so i do this every time in a vr game low latency mode ultra multi-frame super sampling i have that off texture filtering anastropic sample optimization i have that off texture filtering negative lod bios clamp that does make a difference in clarity texture filtering quality i have this set to high performance Textures will still look great. It just, instead of it getting like seven copies ready, it goes after only one one frame. Sorry, my cat jumped down there. Um, linear uh, Trillionaire Optimizer, I have that on. Texture filtering. Uh, threaded Optimizer, that's if you have multi, like everybody has a multi-core processor now, so that helps. Um, and everything else is as you see. So just again, if you need to look over this, these are the settings as follows. High maximum performance, but that's set outside of there. So just if it isn't set to that, maximum performance, everything in here. Okay, so there's your NVIDIA settings. 
all these settings. I'm sure you've already grabbed this. So now we're gonna move to custom shader patch settings. I have this off right now, graphical advancements. I was using this and I'm gonna test on this cause I, I think that this will just add even better frames. I haven't turned this on right now. I turn this off. You come down here, this is the key. Don't be afraid of 2013. SMAA <coughs> is the best uh, anti-aliasing available in Assetto Corsa for VR. Hands down. That's why MSAA now works without horrible shimmering. Okay? This is so important right here. Then you go down to Mode Tweaks VR and set single pass to stereo. I set it to high performance, no MSAA accordingly because we already have that set. So we're not gonna let this do it because then what that'll do is it'll just blur the image. So we put it to high performance. Make sure this is checked off, activate that. A um, Couple other things I did, I turned off. If you don't use the Oculus, may as well turn this stuff off. I turned this off, I don't know if it, def if it helped at all. But these are the settings as followed that are giving me locked 60 frames, locked 60 frames legitimately. Like I, I drop maybe 59 once in a while, but it is the smoothest VR experience I've had. I'm on Shotoku. I've got 12 cars on the road. It's daytime and I'm seeing no anti, I'm seeing no aliasing. Sorry, it's, it's a habit to say anti-aliasing. So, and I'm seeing nothing but anti-aliasing. So. And if I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm really sorry. Neck effects, turn that off for VR. Unless you have a Logitech G27, turn that off. Gamepad effects, turn it off. Freer camera, turn it off. Extra effects in VR does nothing. This will just weigh down your system, turn that off. Digi, never used it once, doesn't make any difference at all. Turn this all off. Colorful shadowing. That does actually add a little bit of weight to the system, and I've noticed no loss in immersion having that on, especially with Pure. Turn that off. Chat shortcuts, unless you're online and using the server, turn it off. Chaser camera, turn it off. Car instruments, everything on as it is by default. Brake disc, have that on. General patch settings. Uh, I've turned on add sound delay with dis distance, use exterior sound everywhere. Uh, I like that because it, it makes it so when you go in or out of the car, it's always the same sound. Disable softness from deep collision. Here's a bunch of other settings. I'll give you guys time to just look over them all. This is in general patch settings. So I can probably lower my resolution now because I'm actually getting... I have my uh, resolution, my Steam VR resolution set to 140. It is a sweet spot but also as a hundred. And now that I've got anti-aliasing working, I may try to do that to achieve 90 frames lock, but 60 frames, I'm telling you, is absolutely enjoyable. You will not notice any problems. And it looks so good. I've never seen a better result with anti-aliasing. I've watched so many videos on people talking about how there's just no fix for this. And it, this is it. And it, the key is, I'm gonna go back over this, this key part, I hate to drill it in, graphical adjustments, post-processing, anti-aliasing. Set that to MS or SMAA 2013. Quality high. There's nothing else you need to change here. You can see the only thing I changed in was red. Use custom kernel for MSAA resolve. I'm not sure if that even affects it now that I'm not using MSAA because I've basically cut MSA completely out and I'm using SMAA now. Huge difference. I might be able to even turn it down to two times and get some more frames. So uh, I'm going to keep testing on this, but I just had to get this out because this has just made my VR experience with Assetto Corsa absolutely enjoyable. So thanks so much, guys. Appreciate it.